Hello YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. Today's video is a really fun one because it's part of my Halloween series. So basically, I went a little overboard at my Dollar Tree last week and I bought so many good Halloween items. I had so many different ideas for these projects so I'm breaking them up into three different videos for three different aesthetics. So today's video is more focused on a boho style and it's a little bit more of a colorful boho aesthetic and I'm really loving how each one of the projects came out. So I really hope that you guys love these projects as well as the ones coming up next Sunday and the Sunday after that. Usually for Halloween, I go to thrift stores and I make my Halloween costumes, but since this year, we're not doing any of that. We're not dressing up and we don't have any parties to go to because of social distancing. But besides the point, I just really wanted to create some fun, easy, and affordable projects that you guys can do at home for Halloween, especially since you only have Halloween decor up for about a month. So I wanted to get a head start on it this Sunday and then have two more videos for you guys to watch and try out these projects. Also, I wanted to add that I have a fun little surprise at the end of this video, so make sure that you tune in for that. Now that I have all of that out of the way, let's jump into the first project. Hello from VoiceOver Tina. We're kicking off this video with the easiest project ever and for this Halloween piece I'm using a doily from Dollar Tree and then I'm also using an embroidery hoop from Joann's and I made sure that my doily would fit on it perfectly. First I'm going to take the embroidery hoop apart and then I'm just going to place my doily on the inner hoop and then place the outer hoop right on top of it to tighten. And since I wanted this to be super tight, I'm just going to pull on the edges as I tighten the hoop. This already looks super cute on its own, but to make it more festive for Halloween, we're going to add some spiders. I found this bag of bat and spider rings from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to paint the spiders and you can really do whatever color that you want. But for mine, I'm using this color called dried clay and it's just the perfect pinky terracotta color. As always, I have all the supplies for each project listed down below in my description box, so be sure to check that out for the complete list of materials. You can paint as many spiders as you'd like. I just did three or four, and I painted two coats on each one. After they've completely dried, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the ring part so that these would lay flat. And to create a subtle difference in size, I cut the legs of one of the spiders and then I just pointed them and I think this really helps the spiders from looking too uniform. Now all you need to do is to add the spiders onto the doily and you can totally glue these on but I found that the spiders just stuck if you put them in between the little holes and this is super perfect if you want to take the spiders off after Halloween and just use the doily as decor year round. And that's all there is to this project. You can hang it up or lean it on a shelf and it's just going to look so cute. Instead of spiders on a web, I love this subtle boho take of spiders on a doily. And this project was just so simple to do. And I love that it's also versatile to use in your everyday decor if you just remove the spiders. To start this project, I'm using one of these plastic skulls from Dollar Tree, but you can also find similar ones at your local craft store or Halloween store. First, I'm going to prime my skull with white paint, and since I'm going in with a pretty light color afterwards, I just wanted to make sure that I covered the base so that the color shows as opaque as possible. And I'm not going to lie, it was kind of weird painting the skull, especially in the hollows of the eyes, but as I put more paint onto it, the spooky factor kind of just went away. I did two coats of acrylic paint, and I just let that dry in between the coats. For my color, I chose to go with this dark honey mustard yellowy color. It's by Martha Stewart and it's called Orangutan Brown. And with this paint, I also had to do two coats to completely cover the skull. And I found that using my foam brush to dab the paint on first and then brushing out really helped with the coverage. Now that the paint is all dry, it's time to make it a little more boho, and what is more boho than a flower crown? I'm going to start by taking a few faux flowers from my local craft store and Dollar Tree and just place them onto the skull so that I can map out where I wanted my flowers to lay. Once I had an idea of where I wanted everything to go, I went in with some hot glue, and I'm starting off with this orange rose as my focal flower, and then I'm just going to build it out with some smaller florals. 
You can definitely make this look symmetrical, but I wanted an organic look, so I'm going to place similar flowers on each side, but not completely matching it on both sides for an asymmetrical look. You can also do a ring of flowers for a full flower crown, but I chose to create the flower crown on just the front. For the finishing touch, I'm using two of those same spiders from the last project and I'm gluing one right onto the flower crown and then one on the side of the skull. And I really think this ties it all together. This is such a fun and easy project to create and customize to your favorite color palettes and I think it looks a lot less scary than what we had originally and we've completely transformed it from being your typical spooky Halloween skull to a more colorful and cute display for your home. For this last DIY project, we're starting with the little bat rings from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint them ombre. To do this, we're starting with the darkest color and I'm using this burnt sienna acrylic paint and I'm going to paint about three to four bats with this color. And since the bats are black to start with, I had to paint about three coats of the paint to get it nice and opaque. For the next color, I'm just going to add a little bit of white and mix it to create a color that's a couple shades lighter. And once I like that color, I'm going to paint another three to four bats with this. I'm going to repeat this process two more times to create two more shades lighter than the original color. So essentially with each shade, you will add in a little bit more white and mix it in to create an ombre look. Once I was done painting two to three coats on each bat, I had a little army of brown bats and I left them to dry. After letting them sit out for a couple of hours, I went ahead and cut the rings on the back so that they would sit flat. Now I'm going to take a small canvas from Dollar Tree and I'm going to arrange my bats. And if you want a more colorful look, you can totally paint the canvas at this step, but I'm just going to leave it as is because I really liked how the bats looked against the white canvas. And as you can see, I'm doing a pattern with the darkest bats on the bottom and the lightest on top to create an ombre effect. Once it's laid out exactly how I want it, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to adhere it to the canvas. Just let it dry and your new 3D canvas art is ready to be on display. Can you believe this is a Dollar Tree piece? I really love the ombre effect with the burnt sienna color and I think it is so cute and this was just so easy to make. You can totally take this same concept with different objects and make festive art for any holiday. So you could do this with snowflakes for the winter time, hearts for Valentine's Day, or even flowers for spring. But let me know in the comments down below what shapes or objects you would use this technique with. So those were all the projects for today's video. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. I can't really choose a favorite. It is between these two projects. I really love how colorful this skull is, but then I love this project because it just looks so cute. It kind of looks like butterflies or birds or something, but then when you look closer, you realize... Look at it. It's freaking bats. I love Halloween. <laughs> And again, I just wanted to create some really easy projects for you guys to follow along at home. But also you can switch this up to make it any aesthetic that you want. So for the next two Halloween videos, you can really change up the colors and get your desired aesthetic for Halloween. So for my little surprise, I actually turned my title cards into wallpapers that you guys can download for the month of October. And I think they are so cute. So for example, I have this one with the skulls on it. And then I also have one with the bats on it. So if you're interested, you can click on the link down below to get your freebies. I have four different little wallpapers on there. I really hope that you guys like these because I spend time making these little drawings for my videos and I thought it'd be a fun idea just to turn it into a wallpaper so you guys can use. So be sure to download it for your wallpaper or your Instagram stories. You can honestly use these for anything that you'd like. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And this week is super exciting because I have my first mini makeover here on my channel. So be sure to subscribe to check that out. More Halloween content is coming for the month of October. So don't miss out on that. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm posting on there every single day. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.